told me, they said, if you can open a book and you can read from any page and find a blessing, that's a good book. And so that's what I asked God to do when I started this journey uh, three years ago. It started as a chapter in another book that I did as a collaboration. It was like three or four pages. And now it's 314 pages. <laughs> but then it became my master's thesis. And then I it moved into my doctoral dissertation. And when I, my, doc, my dissertation had to be 10,000 words or 11,000 words or something. And when I submitted it to my professor, it was like 21,000 words. And he said, I think you have a book. And I said, okay, I went way above and beyond, right? So uh, it became a book, and I have a great deal of personal life testimonies in here of waiting, and I'm still waiting on things. But there is a way to wait, and I believe this is a book that can bless anyone, Christian, Buddhist, you know, non-believer, atheist, it can bless anyone, male, female, old, and young. So randomly, I'm just going to pick a page. 225. It was during one of my many visitations or encounters with God in my waiting place that I changed my perspective. I changed my mind not only about sin and struggle, but also who I am and who I am in Him. One time I was praying and telling God about my struggle, I will not cry. And I said something like, Lord, I know I'm a sinner. You know how the church says we are sinners saved by grace? That day, while waiting in the presence of the Lord, the Spirit of God led me to read several scriptures. Romans 1, Romans 3, and Romans 10, 2 Corinthians 5 and 21. Studying and meditating on these brought a new thought and truth that was revealed to me. My mind, my perspective was renewed and changed. I was transformed. I heard the Lord say, you are the righteousness of me. You are the righteousness of my son and my savior. You are not a sinner. You can't be both. Either you're going to be a sinner or you're going to be a sinner saved by grace. And so, wow, I said, whoa, this was truly a new perspective. Yes, we are all sinners and probably did it really well when we see it. But if you believe and confess Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord and receive His love, His Son, His grace, and His forgiveness by faith, you are the righteousness of God. You are no longer a sinner. So waiting in His presence revealed a great deal to me about Him, myself, about the Word, and my perspective. And so it's been a wonderful, wonderful journey in waiting and still waiting waiting for visions to come to pass, waiting for life expectancies to happen, waiting for the manifestation of blessings over my family, my personal life, and part of that God has said, we believe in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so, um, amen. So, uh, uh, now we're going to have testimonies by Sister Jennifer and Sister Shamar on how the book has blessed them.